What's up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we have an excellent video for you. It is the Clo Formulation. Peptide Sciences just came out with this blend. It has four amazing anti-inflammatory peptides that all work synergistically together. A lot of companies only use a certain fragment in Dymosin Beta 4 or TB4. Peptide Sciences and their peptides, not only are they pure, but they use the full 40 three amino acid sequence in their TB500. We're going to be breaking that down today. We're going to go through the duration, schedule, and a washout phase with the GHKCU since it is at a higher load of 2.5 milligrams other than one to two milligrams, which is the usual protocol. So with that being said, Let's get into it. So in this Clo blend, we have the BPC-157, TB500, which is the full 43 amino acid sequence, thymosin beta-4, KPV, and GHKCU combination blends four well-researched peptides that work through different but complementary mechanisms. Together, these four peptides may work synergistically. BPC-157 and thymosin beta-4 enhance repair and blood flow. KPV helps calm inflammation and GHKCU HKCU supports tissue remodeling and renewal. This blend thus serves a comprehensive research platform for studying healing and regeneration. All right, so let's break down the Clo blend. Peptide Sciences has introduced a new formulation featuring the Clo blend, which contains 50 milligrams of GHKCU, 10 milligrams of BPC-157, 10 milligrams of TB500, the full 43 amino acid sequence, and 10 milligrams of KPV. So right here, research overview. Based on current scientific studies, the recommended daily amount for GHKCU ranges from 1 to 2.5 milligrams. This vial is specifically designed to provide 2.5 milligrams of GHKCU with each administration. At this amount, a 50 milligram vial will last for 20 days. I started researching GHKCU about three years ago. Two milligrams was the highest recommended amount. So now they've bumped it up to 2.5 milligrams in this because we're seeing excellent benefits. So for each 2.5 milligrams of GHKCU is combined with 500 micrograms of BPC-157, 500 micrograms of TB500, and 500 micrograms of KPV. Why this matters? This matters because 500 micrograms of BPC-157, TB500, and KPV are considered conservative approaches to anti-aging treatment. This formulation allows for 20 complete daily uses per vial. All right, so let's jump into duration. Clinical and anecdotal evidence suggests that GHKCU is typically researched for periods of one to three months. Likewise, BPC-157, TB500, and KPV can also be researched daily for one to three months. This flexibility makes the protocol well aligned for long-term research focused on regeneration and anti-aging. Schedule. For the higher GHKCU load of 2.5 milligrams, follow a five days on two days off schedule. This approach benefits receptor sensitivity and helps maintain long-term efficacy. All right, so when I break down this 50 milligram vial, what we have to understand is that 50 milligrams or GHKCU takes precedence in this vial because it has the higher load or amount of peptide. So we're gonna break it down from the GHKCU and then all the other peptides will be in a ratio. So if I am doing this or on a peptide calculator, I wanna go to the 50 milligrams, okay? To reconstitute this vial, add two ml or three ml of bacterial static water, depending on preference. If I choose to add 2 ml and extract to the 10 mark, that's going to be 2.5 milligrams of GHKCU and 500 micrograms of BPC-157, 500 micrograms of TB500, and 500 micrograms of KPV. Some individuals prefer adding 3 ml, which doesn't change the total amount of peptide, but gives more volume per administration, which may also help with local irritation from the GHKCU. Pulling to the 15 mark still gives the same exact protocol as above, and the vial will still last 20 days. So mainly because of the GHKCU and the burning sensation, 3ML might be better. It is also very important to make sure we're taking zinc as zinc and copper work synergistically. So let's get into the very last part of this and uh, we'll be good to go. 
TB500 is referred to as a shorter fragment of TB4, particularly focusing on specific active segment like LKKTETQ. It's a very short sequence that TB500 is. TB4 fragment 17 through 23 promotes wound healing, hair growth, and angiogenesis. Structure thymus and beta 4 is naturally occurring peptide consisting of 43 amino acids. Its amino acid sequence is, which is very long. A lot of companies don't use the full 43 amino acid sequence. So next time you're doing your research or you're buying peptides, make sure they have the full sequence. Key benefits, full length TB4, systemic and localized applications for general tissue repair and broad biological effects. TB4 fragment, one through 15, ideal for cellular protection and anti-aging interventions. TB4 fragment, one through four, suitable for treating inflammation and reducing fibrosis in diseases. TB4 fragment 17 through 23, effective in dermatology, promoting hair regrowth and aiding post-surgical wound healing. In summary, while the full 43 length TB4 is extensively studied for its wide range biological benefits, the individual fragments provide specific advantages tailored to different conditions. From my research. All right, so let's just get into the last part of this. So after 90 days of continuous GHKC use, a 30-day break is essential. The washout phase helps prevent copper buildup, supports receptor site reset, and enhances the overall long-term effectiveness of the peptides. So taking a 30-day break after 90 consecutive days or three months is always beneficial, even though we're taking two days off every week. I recommend this, but everybody's different and it's up to your doctor's protocol or prescription, okay? So this is breaking down the Glow blend or formulation. I will be making a longer video on the glow blend within a couple days. I just wanted to get this one out because I've been getting a lot of requests and it is a newer vial. So this is Casey with Living Youthful. If you guys are interested in other peptides, definitely check out my channel. If this video has been beneficial for you guys or helped you out, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.